Hello, it's Kendra and I am here with another episode of Freak or Frog, my series where I go through my pile of whips, pick something out and decide whether I'm going to freak out and put it on my hook and get it done, or whether I'm going to frog it, reclaim the yarn and turn that good yarn into a better project. So this is the armoire in my office. And it stores various things, but that big bottom drawer is ultimately where all my whips need to fit. Now, as you can see, ugh, they don't, because there's more beyond this. But I'm going to begin by cleaning out this drawer. Now, I did put a call out on Instagram to find out which of these bags you think I should freak or frog, because I, I don't know, I put them in here because I didn't want to deal with them. And the only suggestion I had was for this black and white one. And I'm fairly aware of what's in here, but I'm going to pull that out, which should free up some space. I'm going to go through that bag, and then I'll tell you what is inside it. So here are the results of what was in that bag. We have pieces, we have a palm tree top, and we have a number of rings. The story behind this project. Ultimately, this project was supposed to turn out looking like this. It is a jungle ring set from a 2013 edition of Crochet World. When I began crocheting several years ago, my son was just a baby and I was like, huh, I should make him something special. Well, my mother had just sent me a big stack of Crochet World magazines and a bunch of hooks from one of her friends who no longer needed them. And that pattern, she kind of bookmarked and said, hey, you should look at this. And I looked at it and thought, wow, that would be great. I didn't really know what I was doing. I didn't really have the skills, but I decided I was gonna try. So I put many, many hours of work into making the different parts, this bottom, doesn't really lay flat. It has this looped grass stitch. And you were supposed to put a styrofoam cone in the middle, but I thought that sounded dangerous for my kids and that they would fall on it and hurt themselves or break it. And then the toy would be like, you know, off kilter. So I just filled it with batting or not batting, stuffing, a lot of stuffing actually. And so it's a little overstuffed. So stuffed that it's little palm tree cap doesn't really, really stay. So I worked on it for a while and as I was working on it and putting it down and working on other projects, my skill level has increased, obviously. But this is still not done. And part of the reason it's not done is because my skill level has increased and like the stitching is really bad and you can see like the gaps and whatever. Now, leading up to my 30th birthday, I did a thing called 30 for 30 where I was trying to cover different areas of my life and there were 30 things I wanted to do before I turned 30. One of them was actually finish this toy and all I managed to do was finish a bunch of the accessory parts for some of the rings but honestly I have no desire to do all of the embellishment work that is shown to make these animals as cute as they are. I just I don't. But I also am somewhat emotionally and sentimentally attached to this toy so I think that what I'm going to do is put it on my freak out list and I'm just going to attach the pieces so that like the elephant will have its arms and legs and ears or whatever but not worry about it having eyes and all the different things and having the whiskers and the spots and all that. I'm just going to put the pieces I have onto the thing. I might even then secure the palm tree on top so that rather than the rings coming off like they do they'll all just stay on there and then I'm gonna put it up on my shelf as a decoration because it is an interesting way to see where I've come from in my crochet journey and like I said I'm sentimentally attached to it it's been around since my kids have but I just need to to take it out of a drawer that's nowhere to leave it and you know put the piece together and then just set it on a shelf that seems like a much better use of my time and energy so I'm gonna add it to my on the hook list and I will get its parts sewn on when I get back from my trip 
Thanks for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed seeing me go through one of my projects and decide what to do with it. Gosh, the ones you feel emotionally attached to are the worst. Or when you made something with the intention of maybe gifting it and didn't get it done. So then you feel bad, like, is it still kind of earmarked for that person originally? I don't know. You have to decide that, but what you need to do is make a decision. So get into your stack of whips, be inspired, freak or frog something, and let me know in the comments what you decide to do. On the screen next to me, there is a video that YouTube has decided you would enjoy from my channel. There's also a link to my Etsy shop if you would like to go and see my project bags and crocheted creations and help support me so I keep making this fun, free, crafty content. See you next time. Bye!